Hello everyone, welcome to the next section of the course, predicting customer shopping trends with market basket analysis. In this section we'll be dealing with one of the complex problems faced by retailers, stores and e-commerce marketplaces today. Let's move on to the first video of this section that deals with market basket analysis. In this video we'll talk about what exactly we mean by trends and how the retailers detect and predict these trends using market basket analysis. Trend, in the retail context, can be defined as a specific pattern or behaviour which occurs over a period of time. This may involve a product or combination of products being sold out in a very short period of time, or even the reverse. A simple example would be a best-selling smartphone being pre-booked and out of stock before even hitting the shelves on any e-commerce marketplace, or a combination of products like the classic beer and diapers combination, which is frequently found in shopping baskets or carts of customers. Let's know about what is market basket analysis. Market basket analysis consists of some modelling techniques which are typically used by retailers and e-commerce marketplaces to analyse shopping carts and transactions, to find out what customers buy the most, what kind of items they buy, what the peak season is for specific items to be sold the most and so on. We'll be focusing on item-based transactional patterns for detecting and predicting what items people are buying and are most likely to buy. What does market basket analysis actually mean? A simple example of an item set would be people buying beer and diapers frequently at the market. The item set can be depicted as beer and diapers. Hence, from the preceding example, you can say that if I buy beer, I am also most likely to buy diapers and recommend that product to me. We can also build item association rules on top of these item sets by analysing shopping purchases. An example association rule can be denoted by using item sets using the notation as shown on the screen, which indicates that if I am buying beer and diapers together, I am most likely to also purchase milk along with that. Now that you know what market basket analysis actually does, let's look at some definitions and concepts which are widely used in the algorithms and techniques. Transactional data sets indicate databases or data sets where the customer's shopping transactions are recorded daily or weekly and consist of various items bought together by the customers. We'll take an example transactional data set, which we'll also be using later on in this section for our algorithms. Considering the same data set, which you can also get from the shopping transaction log.csv file in the code bundle, you can observe the data that is represented in this figure. Here, each cell is defined as an item. Let's take an example. Cell combination 1A indicates I1, whose value is depicted as beer. Items are also denoted by the symbol IN, where N denotes the nth item number, and examples are enclosed in curly braces in formal definitions. Now let's look at what are item sets. Item sets are defined as sets or groups of items which were bought together in any shopping transaction. Hence, these items are said to co-occur based on the transactions. We'll denote item sets as ISN, where N denotes the nth item set number. The item set values are enclosed in curly braces. Each row in the data set denotes a particular transaction and the combination of items form the item sets. The item set IS1 is depicted by beer, diapers, bread. Association rules or just rules are statements which have a left hand side LHS and a right hand side RHS and indicate that if we have items on the LHS for purchase we're likely to be interested in purchasing the RHS items too. They are donated as this, which means that if we have item set X in my shopping cart, I'll also be interested in purchasing item set Y along with it. Next is the frequency of item sets. It's basically the number of times a particular item set occurs in the list of all transactions. We can denote it as F of ISN, where ISN is a particular item set and function F gives us the frequency of the item set in the whole transactional base data set. The support of an item set is defined as the fraction of transactions in our transactional data set which consists of that particular item set. It can be denoted with this equation, where S denotes the support of the item set ISN. Further, the confidence of an association rule is defined as the probability or likelihood that, for a new transaction containing item set in the left hand side of the rule, the transaction also contains the item set on the right hand side of the rule. The confidence for a rule can be depicted by this equation, where C denotes the confidence of the rule. Last is the lift of an association rule. 
It's defined as the ratio of the support of the combination of two item sets on the LHS and RHS together, divided by the product of the support of each of the item sets. The lift for a rule can be depicted with the equation shown on the screen, where L denotes the lift of the rule. That's all about market basket analysis.